Do you need to recreate your business during this pandemic? This recording is going to show you how you can do that with feminine power. Maybe your pre-pandemic work or your life has crumbled and it's leaving you wondering what to do next. Or maybe you hear a voice within that's calling you very, very clearly, but you have no idea what that voice is saying because it doesn't make logical sense. If you can relate to this, then I'd like to share with you a few ways that leading from your feminine power can really help you to move forward instead of holding you back during these times. Number one, one. Did you hear that? One, one day at a time. That's the first key. Yesterday is gone and the way things have worked doesn't work that way anymore, if you haven't noticed yet. And the future has yet to be. And all we've got is today. You know, there's that saying, that's why it's called a present. We have this gift today. And if you dare to receive that gift, dare stop and listen to yourself inside, you can find the answers to any question 24-7 and you don't even need a Wi-Fi hookup. Number two is to be honest with yourself. Tell yourself the truth. Ask yourself, what would, what would I love to share with others? What would... What is it that would make you want to jump out of bed in the morning? And it could be something that makes no sense to you. If that comes up, but you've been in one line of work and it's something that's totally different, don't discount that because we're all going through unprecedented change and everything is shifting. And when you listen to the part of you that doesn't make sense, you may find untold uh, surprises and delights and gems that come out. Another question you can ask is, if you're not clear, how, who, who would I like to work with? Who would I like to serve? And just listen for the answer. And then ask yourself, how can I help them? And you may want to take out a journal and do some writing, like a writing meditation without knowing up front what will come up. And just one thing I like to do at times is you can write the question with your dominant hand and then write the answer with your non-dominant hand. You can also ask yourself the question, what problems can I help the people who I want to work with? that I could help them solve because I'm really good at it. It may be something that you've had difficulty with that you found an answer with and you don't need to be some big guru who have all of the answers. You just need to be a few steps ahead. Remember, we're all in this together. We are all going through change. So really taking that time to consider what you're passionate about. That's the thing that is going to really help you enjoy and withstand the unknown and the difficulty of this unknown that we're facing now. It's unprecedented change and humanity has never gone through this before, which leads me to the third point that I want to make that can really help you. It's a very, very simple yet potent tip. Stop wanting to figure it out. How's that working for you? <laughs> How, where is that taking you to? Is it making you feel better? Is it giving you more clarity? I suspect no. First thing, you're not alone. That's how we've all been acculturated to figure out, to make a plan, to follow through. That's cognitive reasoning. That's a masculine approach. When I say masculine, I'm not talking about man or woman. I'm talking about cognitive, intellectual, sequential. That's how we've been living for the last two, 3,000 years. But that way is all breaking down. And the feminine power, feminine leadership is re-emerging. And the feminine does not make sense 
It's another paradigm altogether. It's the place where you know. Figuring it out doesn't work. And have you noticed that whenever, I don't know, I've been, it's like whenever I go there, it's like, kill me now. It is so exhausting. And I've been you know, resting a lot more. And the most amazing thing is yesterday, you know, I had my, I've been very active in this period. And uh, yesterday in the afternoon, I stopped. It just, if I was on the computer one more second, I'd just die. I wanted to throw up just thinking of, you know, the computer. And I took time off for self-care. And I ended up uh, not working the rest of the evening. And the mind said, oh, my God, you're not getting your stuff done. Except there was something deeper going by not doing and spending time with yourself inside, with that tender part, with the girl that needed attention and some nurturing. I, I did some writing, you know, and the questions that I just gave you, you know, what I, I was writing, what would, what do you need? That's what I was asking the girl. And I, I was asking, is this, is this really right for me? And my higher power wrote, absolutely, by your taking the time, this is going to guide you as to what to do next. This is actually going to guide you on your next post, which is what I'm doing right now. And it was so fun. I danced last night and cooked and listened to music and connected with friends. And it was just, it was a beautiful time. So stop trying to figure things out. Now, What's the solution then? Like I just uh, shared about what I did yesterday, connect to your feminine power. It does not make sense and it won't, but it does know the truth. Trust what you hear because it will lead you to the right place. I had no idea yesterday and I was scared. I thought I was reneging, you know, like that doer, the masculine side. Oh, you're reneging. You're not following through. And if you're going to follow... We have the, course, the next course coming up. Oh my God, if you don't continue, it's like there's going to be no course and you're not going to get it all done. And there's, and that's the thing that made sense. But here's another tip. It felt like caca inside. It, the, the second tip for the solution is trust what you hear. That's what I did yesterday. It's like, it didn't make sense, but when you've got when you're considering one thing or the other and they both feel scary trust or choose the one that is kind towards you because that will lead you to the right place i've been doing this for 30 years in you know one constellation or another i know what it takes to remain focused and effective in the midst of uncertainty in the midst of change and it has taught me to trust that even when i don't trust it <laughs> i don't know whether that makes sense it doesn't make cognitive sense but i have thrived even in war you know when all hell's broken loose Really, for 25 years, I've created, I've planned, I've led over a thousand courses, events, retreats. I started teaching online in 2005 from Israel. It was the only way that I could be connected with the world. I've initiated a three-year medical research project, three-year fully funded. I'm not a doctor, never did it before, but by following that feminine power and trusting what it was telling me without understanding. That's how these things have come about. I've built my home in the Galilee. I've never built a home before. I didn't have wads of money either in the bank. No, it came, but it didn't come before taking the action. That's another, that's a bonus. I didn't write that down in here on the outline, but I had no idea where the money was going to come from. And it's, it's amazing. 
It's amazing. And when the, the third step is, or first, another, another thing that I want to say about that is that by being willing to be seen for the woman you are, you know, I can see that it was like listening and taking the action and feeling terrified, but by being willing to be who I truly am, no matter what other people would think of me, that that is what has given me and continues to give me the courage and the confidence to live and flourish through crisis, through war, through displacement, and come out the other side thriving. And, you know, doing that one day at a time, if one thing leads to the next, it comes back to what I was saying before, you know, literally one day at a time. Because I, over 30 years, I haven't been able to figure it out. And certainly now, you know, it's like nobody knows what's going to be. But we thrive. And I thrive when I help other people do the same. And I, it gives me the courage to take the next step forward. And then I'm not alone. And this is the way of joy. This is the way of abundance. It's like, it's just as beautiful. And this is how calamity can transform into the biggest, courageous, confident, communicative, connected period of abundance. And I believe that that's where we're all going together. But you've got to, here's the third thing, dare follow through on the guidance of your voice. And that does require courage because you're not going to know, you're not going to have the clarity before acting and following through on that small, still voice within. And it really can be terrifying to meet your truth because what are other people going to say? And am I going to be hung on the cross? Boy, do I know that story. <laughs> but here's something that I hope will help you think about it this way, that if you don't follow through on its guidance, and if you don't act now, you've already lost. You lost everything. You've gone bankrupt because you've morally gone bankrupt. There's not a snowball's chance in hell that you can move forward. That's willfulness. That's egoic. That's trying to control and push the river. And, and that's not what's going on. You do that, you're going down with the Titanic. Or you're going to dare and be scared and let go and move forward. And we'll all move forward together. It is terrifying to be out on a limb. But the good news is, is that it doesn't mean going alone and feminine leadership and, you know, what is resurging today. Look at this. We're all alone, but we're all together. Is that amazing? It's amazing. And there are others who have gone before you. You know, there's the prophetess Miriam. The, the, you know, in our ancient lineage of humanity, there are those who have gone before us and willing to support you in your power. In modern times, you know, today, here, I'm, you know, I'm showing up. I'm one of them. I'm here to support you. That's why I'm making this video right now. Feminine power, it's abundant and it leads to prosperity. And it happens when you step up and you say yes to your ability, when you say yes to your power, even when you're scared. And maybe, maybe that's a, another key, especially when you're scared because that's when you're showing up for yourself. So if you were to step out in your power, really, right now, and have the business or the life of your dreams following this change that we're all going through, what would it be? And who would you be, like, really? Who would you be? How would you be living? And dare to imagine how, what would that experience be? I really hope these questions help you. Please comment in the section below because I really, 
would love to hear. And by your sharing that, you're supporting yourself and you're supporting other people as well because we're all going through the same thing. Just, you know, each one of us has a different pace. And if you, um, if you are truly ready to take your next step forward and dare follow that guidance, dare listen to it and follow it and then share it, I would love to invite you to join me for Emerge Triumphant, Prosper in the Pandemic with Your Feminine Power. It's a six-week comprehensive video-based teacher tra training and teacher training also teaching you this ancient wisdom of feminine leadership and how to live, work with it, from it, prosper through it. Who is it for? It's for powerful women, professional women who are experiencing anxiety and overwhelm of this unpredictable change that we are all going through, who want to learn a powerful feminine leadership way in order to be of service to themselves and to others in a simple, really simple, but very, very potent and powerful way. If you're a coach or you've been a healer, you've been a teacher, you've been a manager, you've been a professional of any kind, or you've got your own business and you want to expand your services to include ancient feminine leadership and healing sound, you will love this. This is a program for teachers and mentors and professionals in any healing profession, or if you don't have a healing profession, but you are feeling called to, heal, to, to be healing towards yourself and perhaps share with others. And if you have been attracted to how I show up and you want to learn how I do what I do and see where it takes you, this is definitely for you. And if you would like to earn more income, at the end of this course, you will have certification that you will be able to lead professional sessions and earn money with it. So check it out. See if it resonates. If you have questions, then please, you know, pop me a question in the comments below or send me a personal message or set up a session. I'd be happy to chat with you. That's at voicesofeden.com forward slash session. And here is to your recreating your business in your life in a way where you show up and express your passion, your pleasure, because that will lead you to prosperity and abundant good. And that's a really good thing because you will then be able to be helping others who are ready to do the same. This is called Voices of Eden because it's a living experiment of creating Eden on earth, one authentic voice at a time. Your voice truly makes a difference, and you get the opportunity today to choose how you're using it. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye.